Hey guys, Doug B here. A couple weeks ago, I was asked if I would do an episode about using a MIDI foot controller with the Axe FX3. Now, my initial reaction was, wouldn't make much sense for me to do that because I don't have a MIDI foot controller. I have an FC6, but Fractal says that is not a MIDI controller. So what kind of hands-on video could I make? You know, like my usual step-by-step -step videos. None, I just, I can't do that. But then I thought about it for a while and I said, you know, okay, maybe I can't make a hands-on video, but I can still make a video about using MIDI foot controller with the Axe FX3. Ready? Let's dig in. There are any number of MIDI foot controllers on the market, including the Behringer FCB 1010, the Morningstar MC6, the Roland FC300, and many, many more. Fractal even used to make a MIDI controller, the MFC 101. I went to Sweetwater and did a search on MIDI foot controllers and got 13 results. The Behringer FCB 1010, Singular Sound MIDI Maestro, the Nectar Pacer MIDI foot controller, Keith McMillan Instruments 12-step USB MIDI bass pedal foot controller, Keith McMillan Instruments Soft Step 2 MIDI foot controller, Voodoo Lab Ground Control Pro Programmable MIDI foot controller, Matthew Effects The Futurist MIDI controller, Source Audio Soul Man MIDI controller pedal, IK Multimedia iRig Blueboard Bluetooth MIDI pedal board, Tech 21 MIDI Mouse 3 button MIDI foot controller, Fishman Triple Play FC1 floor controller, Roland FC300 MIDI foot controller, and Rocktron MIDI Mate control pedal. Before I got my FX3, I was using a system that was built around Source Audio pedals and their Solomon MIDI control pedal. That thing was built like a tank. Or at least I thought so until I got my FC6. It was fairly easy to program, but I never tried it with anything besides Source Audio pedals. But the point I'm trying to make is that with so many different MIDI foot controllers on the market, each one uses a different method for programming. So you will have to be able to program your MIDI foot controller. Now, I mean, I would suggest searching YouTube to find programming info for your particular controller. For example, Morningstar put out a video called Fractal Audio Integration with Morningstar MIDI Controller, Axe FX3 and FM3. I'll put a link in the description. There are three MIDI ports on the back of the Axe FX3, in, out, and through. You can also use the USB port for MIDI. According to the Fractal MIDI Wiki, there's MIDI support for third-party devices, such as RJM's MIDI controllers, to set and or get scenes, channels, bypass states, scene names, and preset names via system exclusive messages. The Axe FX3 doesn't provide fixed MIDI CCs. You can assign these as desired in the MIDI slash remote menu. In the MIDI slash remote menu, you can instruct the Axe FX3 to process or ignore incoming program changes, send out program changes at MIDI out when loading presets, enable mapping of program changes, and choose between two effect bypass modes. The MIDI settings are part of the system settings which can be backed up with FractalBot. They mention system exclusive or sysx commands. Fractal provides a very detailed PDF entitled Axe FX3 MIDI for third party devices. The synopsis is as follows. Third party devices can control the Axe FX3 using standard MIDI commands. In other words, PC, CC, etc. However, the status of effect bypass states, channels, scenes, etc. is not supported by standard MIDI commands. This document outlines the system exclusive or sysx commands to query this data from the Axe FX3. Effect states can also be controlled via sysx message. This allows ease of control as the various CC numbers need not be programmed into the Axe FX3's MIDI menu. This is supported in Axe FX3 firmware version 1.13 or greater. The general format of the sysx commands is F0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 7, 4, 1, 0, CC, DD, 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 and so on, CS, F7, where CC is the command op code, DD is a variable number of bytes, and CS is the XOR checksum. See the appendix for a list of effect IDs. Now I'll provide a link to this PDF in the description. There's also extensive MIDI documentation in the Axe FX3 owner's manual. For example, the MIDI reference tables start on page 102. It lists the values for the MIDI bank and program change messages required to select Axe FX3 presets. Page 105 lists the CC value to scene and CC value to channels tables. 
Page 109 lists the MIDI implementation chart. Page 46 gives detailed information on how to select scenes and channels remotely via MIDI. And page 47 shows you how to use custom PC mapping, which allows you to choose the preset and scene via a single incoming PC or program change command. Now, one of the videos that I found shows how to set up a Nectar Pacer controller with the FX3. This is a step-by-step -step video, and I recommend watching it to get a handle on how to set up preset and scene changing. I'll put a link in the description. Now, I, you know, like I said, there wasn't so much that I could do on this video. I couldn't show any hands-on stuff. But what I can do is provide links for other people that have provided videos that do hands-on or give more detailed information for a particular MIDI foot controller. So there you have it, guys. Now, it's fairly obvious that the FC6 and FC12 foot controllers are the easiest plug and play foot controllers to use with your Axe FX3. But if your budget doesn't allow that, or if you already have a MIDI foot controller from another rig, well, that can be, you know, a usable alternative, usually far easier on your budget. Just be prepared, you're gonna probably have to learn some MIDI coding, you know, like especially like with the Behringer. Then again, it's only $150, but once you learn it, then it's a lot easier from then on out. Now next Wednesday, I'll be looking at another factory preset for Preset of the Week. You don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, see you then.